Good morning everyone, it is Friday the 19th of October and I am just drinking my morning coffee and I've just painted my nails as well in this dark red and I'm very aware that I'm wearing a white blouse. <laughs> so today is super exciting because I'm going back to Bucks and back to that dress shop that I absolutely loved. If you haven't watched that video yet then go and watch that first because this will make more sense but basically I went to a shop called White Lace and Butterflies which I absolutely loved. They ordered a dress in for me um, to try on because I loved this dress that they do with a different skirt, if that makes any sense. I mean, I'm not gonna give much away, but basically I'm going back to that shop. Um, you can't take photos or film in there or anything, which is a good thing because I might potentially buy a dress from there. So I am going to be trying on dresses today with my mum and Amy. I'm so excited because I could be saying yes to the dress. So cringe and cliche, but I'm really excited. I'm also really nervous because I had a horror dream the other night that I didn't like the dress, didn't like any of the dresses, and it was just a disaster. But it's okay. It's okay if I don't find the one today. It's okay. Anyway, I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs and then I will take you along with me and update you later. <laughs> This book is literally so good, it's so heartbreaking, but I really recommend, it is so, so good. I have actually bought my wedding dress. Oh my god! Well, paid the deposit, but I'm really excited! <sighs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I am now home and I don't even know what I said or what's been filmed, but I bought my dress and I now have no money. I think, to be completely honest with you, as well as feeling knackered, <laughs> I actually feel a bit uncertain and having spoken to other people about this I feel like it's not uncommon to feel really happy, really excited, obviously say yes to the dress and still feel happy but feel a bit meh, like a bit low. Oh sorry I need to sit down and I don't know if it's like because it's overwhelming emotions being really happy and then you kind of just well, drop and feel really low but part of me is just super anxious and thinks oh would I look better in this dress or would people prefer me in this dress would Sam prefer this dress and it's it's really difficult to find the dress that you feel comfortable in confident in amazing in and that absolutely everyone else loves because although I'm sure everyone will love the dress I just don't want to be walking down the aisle and people to think oh I wouldn't have pitched her in that or oh she went for that or oh I don't like that material or oh I don't like the top of that you know when you're just I'm such an overthinker and a worrier anyway and I know I shouldn't care what people think but because it's such a big commitment and a lot of money I feel like I don't know part of me feels a little bit about it. I absolutely love the dress obviously and I know that for loads of people they're very much like this is the one and don't think twice. I'm just not that kind of person. I've said that from the start um, but this is the dress I've been continuously drawn to and I am super happy with it. I think part of me is just a bit like I just want three different style dresses. <laughs> What's really weird as well is that I'm not going to be putting on again until the beginning of October next year so 2019 because as you know we are having a winter wedding and it's only being fitted like two months before. I did take some pictures but of course they are for my eyes only. But yeah, I am keeping everything about it a total secret if I can. I'm a bit of a blabber mouth but I'm hoping that I'm not gonna say anything to real life friends as well as you guys on the internet. I'm already in pyjamas by the way, like uh, pyjama bottoms. <laughs> um, but I've just come home to this package from Waybox. I will as always put my discount code in the description below. It is the best protein in the world. I've got a whole box of gingerbread and a whole box of coconut because they are my two faves. I love coconut in smoothies and as a shake and I love gingerbread in porridge. In fact, I love coconut in porridge too. Which would you go for? Hashtag Christmas is coming. So it is now Friday night and I am home alone. So actually, I think I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to be that crazy person who goes to the gym in rush hour on a Friday because it's like 6pm. Sam is out with friends tonight and then we are going to Brighton tomorrow. So I might film some of that. I feel like people are probably really bored of me talking about weddings um, because I've obviously done wedding dress try-ons. If you haven't watched them yet, go check them out. I'll link them below. And wedding ring shopping, which was so fun and I'm hoping to do more of with Savvy and Sand as well. What was I saying? 
yeah, I'm really sorry if you're getting really bored of wedding chat. I will try to not do that now. I feel like the main stuff is out of the way, kind of like trying on dresses and then all the other stuff we've done. We are doing cake tasting in November, so I'd love to bring you along for that because cake. But apart from that, I will try and keep it a little bit more life and also fitness. I need to bring some fitness back into my channel. I like your new shirt. Oh, thanks. It's really nice, really actually. actually. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, I like that. It is now the next day. Oh, I look really blue. Is it me or does this look really blue? Okay, I managed to fix the blue issue. <laughs> um, it is now Saturday and we are heading off to Brighton. It is a bloody beautiful day, blue skies. I think it's quite cold, but it looks stunning. We are just gonna pop to our local coffee shop and get a nice brunch. I really want a bacon avocado bagel. And then we are going to hit the road to Brighton and hopefully have fish and chips on the beach this afternoon. And we are going on a night out with Sam's friends. So I will not be taking my camera out, um, but I will capture a bit of Brighton for you. We're hoping to do a bit more exploring tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah. Sam's never been to Brighton. I have. Oh, I thought you said you hadn't. I've only been like for a short like weekend. Never been. And <laughs> um, we're gonna explore the lanes, and I'm super excited, so let's go get some food. Now we just have to find somewhere to park, don't we? Yeah. And we think it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Ready? Oh, it's stunning. Oh, look at this. It is a beautiful day. We just managed to park into this tiny space. <laughs> Check this out. We have arrived in our Airbnb and we are on the top floor of this townhouse and it's very grand looking. And I can also see the sea. And then over here we have the bathroom. It's so cool. It's like a really old school sink and a chain toilet. Hello. <laughs> and yeah, it's really cool. I'm absolutely boiling. And now we're going to explore. It's so annoying, it doesn't fit me right, and it keeps showing my bra, and I would not recommend buying this, it's already got a hole in it, but it's from Topshop. And, oh, you can see the label for it. And then the skirt is a leather one from Miss Selfridge. I am a glitter queen. Do you know who else? <laughs> what do I mean? Morning, the sun is shining, and we are super. Hangover <laughs> and not feeling. I'm fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, are you actually? I feel like absolute arse, and we only got like four hours sleep. But the sun's coming in, and this room is really beautiful. And we are having breakfast now with our Airbnb hosts. I literally look so awful right now, and I feel it as well. But luckily, the sun's shining, so I'm just going to hide behind sunglasses all day. literally had all this meat and cheese laid out, a berry platter, and then like some fresh stuff over here. So cute. Hi. I think you want the food. Look at this gorgeous day. I'm so excited to go to the sea. How amazing was that breakfast? Really good. <gasps> so good. I took some clips on my phone, but it was so good. I This Airbnb is amazing. Like I highly, highly, highly recommend it.
very sleepy bunnies are now saying goodbye to Brighton. It has been short and sweet. I just wanted to fast forward. I have been super ill all week. Um, just feeling like, well, awful, like horrible head cold. And yeah, I just feel dreadful, but I'm still, I'm just working from home today. I thought I would just show you a little bit of real life, which is me looking like this. It's just one of those really annoying things when you don't feel well, because I had this plan this week. I never usually plan my workouts, but recently I've been feeling more motivated. And for my calendar this week, I'd put like, Monday I'm gonna train legs, and Tuesday I'm gonna do this, and Wednesday I'm gonna go for a walk, and Thursday I'm doing yoga, and Friday I'm gonna do back, and none of it has happened <laughs> um i am going to a yin yang yoga class this evening so i was definitely trying to make an effort to be more active because otherwise i just sit down a lot of the day when i was a personal trainer at virgin active a couple of years ago i was obviously super active i used to walk to and from work so i used to walk an hour or it was half an hour each way so i used to walk at least an hour if not two hours a day if i had morning and then evening clients and i also was obviously quite active at work on my feet demonstrating exercises I'd also teach classes or do a gym workout myself, um, most, not most days, I wasn't like crazy over the top or anything, but I just was so much more active, like not only with the walking, but also with the gym workouts, and now at the moment I do definitely do less walking, like nowhere near that amount, and I also go to the gym less, so I'm just finding that even though I eat the same, which is like quite a lot, <laughs> I'm just finding that my body has massively changed, which is fine, I'm getting older and it's not as much of a priority as it used to be, um, but I was kind of just trying to make small changes, like walking more and going to the gym more, and that's kind of failed this week, and it's hard not to beat yourself up, but hey ho, these things happen and there's always next week. Okay, goodbye. Hello, it's me again, and I'm here to end this vlog after that little woe is me episode. <laughs> I am feeling a little bit better today, which is good, and I did go to the gym yesterday as well. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog of saying yes to the dress, and I hope you enjoyed the other wedding dress shopping videos. I also hope you enjoyed being taken around Brighton. It could not have been more beautiful weather. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me to have you back and to watch my videos. Have a lovely day whatever you're doing and I will see you in the next one.